you teach me how to make an animated mouse cursor? First step, you will need to gather the important softwares. Number one, any drawing software that you prefer. Number two is the Real World Cursor app, which is a very important app, and it is free to download. Link is in the description. I did say on my last video that you would need a custom cursor app, but it keeps on bugging. Get out of here. So setting your mouse cursor using the system preferences is the best way you can do it. I'll give you a minute to download these apps. Step two, draw your cursor. I suggest you use the maximum canvas size which is 256 by 256 pixels and at least 300 dpi. You can use 8, 16 or 32 bit color but it don't matter that much because the image is pretty small just like your pancake behind. Now depending on what you're trying to create, the method of animating differs. But for this tutorial, we need to do a frame by frame method. For this example, I just need to duplicate the spider layer, the number of duplicates, depends on how many frames you need for the object's motions. I would then add in the electric elements on each duplicated layer in such a way that it creates a motion. After that, save separate image files for each frame. Always use the format PNG because other image formats would just create a white background and we don't want that white stuff behind our backs. I will also make a Puss in Boots mouse for another upcoming wallpaper but this is only to show you an easy method to make it rotate but that's for later. Step 3. Turn images to compatible mouse cursor format. Open up real world cursor app then go to create. Make sure the size is 256 pixels same as the image canvas size then click on new mouse cursor. This is the easy part. Just drag the PNG file into the blank canvas. Don't worry about anything right now. Just click this blue plus sign at the bottom left side. This will create a new frame to create a simple motion. Now drag the second image. Just continue. Click the blue sign again, then drag the next frame and so on. That looks pretty good to me. At the left side panel, with a cross line at the middle, this is where we fix the mouse clicking hotspot. And I am talking about the G. Just move the image until it accurately points towards the center. This means that the tip of the spider's front legs is where I want the click to be. You can also check it here. Just scroll down below and test it right here. See how accurate the click is? Alright, let's move on. Save it now. Click save us and then use Annie format. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? That Annie is a compatible format for animated mouse cursor. We will test all the mouse cursors somewhere in this video, so just stick around. Now the next method that I will teach you is to easily create make one image rotate automatically. Now this is good for loading mouse cursors or working in the background. Create a new file. For this example, I will drag Puss into this. Is it related to Spider-Man? No. Nope. Just fix the mouse hotspot. Now click this rotate icon at the bottom left. It will automatically create a rotation animation and save it as that Annie format again. And there you go. Boom, baby. If you're liking this video so far, leave a comment saying I love this video so far. Step four, changing your default mouse cursors. To use the mouse cursor, all you have to do on the start menu, search for mouse settings. Trust me, you will need to change the mouse cursor size first before anything else. Click adjust mouse and cursor size. For my example, I want spider icon to be big enough so you can see the details. So I would change the size to around 3 to 4. After that, go to the additional mouse options from before. The mouse properties will pop out. Click pointers. So here is where you shall change the cursors, like this. After changing all the cursors, click save as. This will save a preset so that you won't need to change every single thing again when you change your mind. Click apply and there you go, my boy. But wait, don't leave my brother and sister and the in between. So let's see how it all looks in this Spider-Man wallpaper I created.
If you're interested to use these wallpapers and icon packs and mouse packs that I'm making, it's on my shop, link is in the description. Some are free. But wait, don't go again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so extra. Don't forget to spam the subscribe button and until next time, my fellow Broccolians and Broccolilis.